he went in, that is, Mr. Putin went into eastern Ukraine with a set of assumptions that were not valid. But at the time, he thought they were. He, he said, we don't want to kill civilians. We don't want to destroy infrastructure. In fact, we want to wage a very limited campaign because our principal interest is in eradicating these radical elements in the East, uh, putting an end to the hostile uh, force that has been built up by the United States and NATO in Eastern uh, Ukraine, and come to some sort of agreement that would allow for the equal representation before the law for the rights of Russians living in Ukraine. He thought, well, we're, we're fighting a brother Slavic country, and uh, we, we don't want this to last any longer than absolutely necessary. And I think he believed that he would have a serious negotiating partner in Kiev and in Washington. He was wrong. Everything has now changed. It began changing in the summer. Decisions were made in August about how they would approach the rest of this campaign. And now we're looking at a force of almost 700,000 troops surrounding Ukraine. Uh, the large probability of offensives beginning sometime over the next two, three, four, five, six, eight weeks, whenever the ground freezes completely and uh, the Russians judge their force to be ready. And they will move in and they will finish off this Ukrainian state. Let's not kid ourselves. Uh, the regime in, in Kiev is likely to be annihilated along with the remainder of its armed forces, which over time have become more and more radicalized to the point where now uh, these uh, so-called Azov Nazis and their supporters are not only uh, murdering Russians, they're murdering their own people. And as we saw recently, they actually set out to kill Polish troops that were serving in Ukrainian uniform in Ukraine. This thing is, is gone badly. The Russians have, have been running out of munitions, I guess, from day one, according to the propaganda, and the Ukrainians are still on their victory march. Well, that's all nonsense. The Russians are now fully mobilizing to complete this task. The biggest mistake we could make in the West is to involve ourselves. We've done enough damage. 